Hello everyone and welcome back to another Action Figure Wrestling unboxing and another AFW unboxing. So today, as you can see, I've got the Brawlers out here again. And that means we've got a few Brawler unboxing videos to go over. This one right here, I wanted to kind of go over. Um, he's the... There's only a handful of people that have multiple Brawlers to begin with. You've got like the Young Bucks here who have, you know, their purple and yellow attires. And then they've got their black and white attires, gray attires, whatever. Um, you've got Matt Cardona here, which has this one, the uh, variant color of that one. And then he's also got a Stomp one. He's getting ready to have the $1,000 Broski one. And then he's going to have um, his wedding variant as well. Uh, Kurt Hawkins, of course. Brian Myers has this one, the variant colors of that, Stomp one, and he's going to have uh, the one with his mask coming out pretty soon. Smart Mark has this one, he's got his suited one, and he's got uh, one of the actual suit coming out as well. So Swoggle, of course, has four, uh, two variants of this. One naked with the title belt, and then one in like black and white, kind of gray. But this is the other man who has uh, several. Uh, very excited to have gotten his first one. So let's talk about Owen Hart. So Owen, of course we have this one here that came out. This right here was a limited release. Uh, it is for the Owen Hart Foundation. All proceeds went to there. And this was the first Owen Hart figure in, oh man, was it over 20 years? Maybe close to 25 years? I don't remember when exactly last Bone Cruncher would have came out. Uh, but we've not had any other kind of Owen real, you know, merchandise or definitely not any kind of action figures or anything. So to get this in originally was just great. This is the, you know, King of Hearts kind of gimmick there. And so after that, we then got one in the crate. And this is the regular one in the crate here in the blue. This is Owen back from his stampede days. And of course, to go with that, we do have the chase on a 250. You see the back of the card with the blue. All the cards. This is one thing you want if you don't uh, have any of the chases or you've never seen one before. It doesn't matter what uh, which one you have. The card is always going to be the same here on the back. Uh, you see it's the blue one to match the common variant. But, of course, the Chase version did have the red pants. Uh, just a, It's one of those months where it was kind of... Uh, I liked that it was maybe a little pops a little bit more there in the red. Um, but it wasn't really needed or anything. I mean, it's... <clears throat> you know. But if you're a completionist, you had to track it down. But the one that we're going to actually unbox today is the new japan japanese tour owen hart in the jacket this is of course a variation of this uh, sculpt right here where except for it has the jacket and the details for it on it and so where you kind of see them all together all the owens together um very kind of happy with owen i mean owen's a guy that you know if you were a fan of the 90s growing up uh definitely 94 was when i really got into wrestling um as a fan so 94 95 96 were kind of my big heydays and the first real feud that i remember was uh brett versus owen you know following that storyline going to their epic match uh at wrestlemania 10 which was just uh, if you've never seen that match go out and watch it i mean that's just brett and owen two guys who you know were Literally, they're, they're brothers. They were born to do this. I mean, it just uh, great chemistry and things. And then they had the great uh, cage match at SummerSlam that year for the title. Uh, had Owen, you know, not tragically died, who knows what would have happened? I mean, he he's a guy that eventually you think that he would have became a multi-time, you know, world uh, champion. Which I mean, definitely, definitely had potential to. To have done that uh, at some point, you know, his career was um, life was unfortunately cut, cut short. But, but thankfully, you know, along with other legends like Andre and uh, Brody right there, 
you know, here's Vader now. It's certainly Macho Man. Both members of LOD, The Warrior. You know, we've got great, great ways to uh, remember some of our favorites. And that's what makes these micro brawlers so fun is that you can have guys like Matt Cardona. You can have the Young Bucks in here. And then you can have legends that have long passed away, you know, like King Kong Bundy, uh, Ricky the Dragon, or Steve O'Sullivan. still alive. But, you know, Roddy Piper, the British Bulldog, you can have all those kind of people in here. And it just makes it such a cool, cool collection to have uh, total. So, one thing else I wanted to show here on these is the difference in the packaging. Now, Micro Brawlers have had some various packaging over the years. These were the initial ones here in these little baggies. Uh, it's just, you know, a little bag stapled shut up here. These were fine if you're just kind of laying them like on a gimmick table or something like that. But if you want to display them, uh, this just real cheap looking kind of kind of sucks. So uh, some guys do have those autographed. I've got a few of them autographed. But all in all, you know, it's just not uh, not a great looking product. And then, of course, they changed to this style of packaging which is more of the uh, card you know of course on the back and things if you're getting these signed you know just sign them right here on top of the bubble looks awesome uh, but the one thing is if you're a lucy collector like obviously i am well it just doesn't uh, go so well if you open them and stuff there's no way to unopen them and then they took that consideration and made this new style packaging which is Bravo. This is uh, perfect, in my opinion. So you take that kind of style packaging, same um, outline of things here, but then we have this kind of bubble and things. And what I've seen people actually do is, I saw people do it with like the Maven Brawler before it came out, uh, the ECW Brawlers, which are about to drop, the Sabu, Van Dam, and Sandman Brawlers. Uh, if, if you see these guys coming to a signing and you know that you want the brawler signed but the brawlers you know pre-orders uh, a lot happens now on those or pre-orders and stuff so sometimes you're not going to get them for another three to four months uh just depending on production time and so you know obviously if you're meeting maven in two or three weeks but then the brawler is going to be another two months or more what do you do well you can just take a blank one of these get it signed and then just swap it in there whenever the brawler comes in so so let's go ahead and open up Jack and Owen. Just kind of look at him. And of course, we'll just fix this back. Of course, there's the Owen Hart Foundation logo. And this was a pre-order one. It was up for some amount of time. I don't remember how long it was up for. It maybe a week. Um, so let's just compare him to the common version here. So, of course, the domain differences are... Got the black here on the boots. Of course, we got the lightning bolts. We've got the headband here on this one. Facial expression seems to be the same as does the overall pose. Uh, of course, there on the back, he's got the lightning bolts. Whereas this one, you know, it's just him without anything. So, yeah. So, there's our Owen Hart history lesson for micro brawlers, uh, which are the first and first, and I guess still the only. Owen Hart figures that we've had uh, since the Bone Crunchers in the late 90s. 99 probably would have been the last Bone Cruncher. I don't know if he had any release in t after that or not, but I'd say probably 99 would have been the last Bone Cruncher. So that's 22 years. And here we have four so far. I would imagine maybe we'll get some more uh, down the line, more Owens and stuff. And, you know, always happy to add that to the collection as well. So. All right, guys. Thank you, and see you guys next time.